Hey everyone, welcome to another match of Esper Rogues. Match one of four going up today. Deck tech was posted this morning, so make sure you check it out. There's a link in the description of this video. We are playing against Mono Blue Tron in this matchup. It's a mulligan here, but got something. Expedition map. We all know what we're playing here. Well, at least we know it's Tron. I'm about to figure out that it's Mono Blue Tron. I mean, I take Force of Negation, but it's not necessarily useful at the moment. Our opponent's not going to do anything interesting this turn, so... It's really just going to come in handy here. I mean, our opponent knows we have something, right? That's why they didn't cast whatever they want to cast there. Okay. Sure. So they went to get their blue out. And probably already... My spidey sense is probably already tingling. Yeah, you saw that. I was already ready to concede. <laughs> I just knew. I, I knew immediately. So, the minute I saw them even tapping their lands, okay, I'm out. I'm out because there was really no way back from there with the hand that we had. It's just, there's no way out. So, let's just go to game two real quick and uh, forget that happened. Good thing about playing Magic for so long, when you know the game's, like, you know when the game is over. Maybe even, like, ten turns before it is, but you just know it's over. So this hand's much better. We'll get Stink Drinker out there. So I'm going to get Hallowed Fountain immediately out <laughs> just to stop any kind of bounce shenanigans that may come. Beautiful. Boom. Yeah, I'll take the Esper Charm. Finally playing Fair Miscreant with the bug fixed, which is always nice. So if our opponent has nothing here, we're going to make really quick work of them. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Let's bring him down to two. I think we could just wait here. I don't think we need to do anything at all. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Writing on the wall. Perfect. I don't think we need to do anything to our, our 60. This, this is a bad hand. This is a good hand. Well, no, no, I'll take that back. It's not a good hand, it's a fine hand. It's a passable hand thanks to spreading seas. We'll slow down our opponent a bit at least. Bitter Blossom might become problematic for our opponent as well. Sure. So I'm in no rush for spreading seas realistically. They're not getting Tron this turn. But I guess I'm going to do it before they have the ability to stop it. That's my thinking. Okay. I 
definitely not going to play anything. Oh, okay, I am. Wow, look at that. I'm taking the risk. Well, here's the thing. They could get the four lands next turn anyway. Yeah, there we go. They're going to draw three cards. And they could still cast Karn. So that was risky. Yeah, there you go. There's Karn. So whatever. We keep Counterspell for whatever Karn's going to go get. Okay. That's not the worst card in the world. Like, I almost don't care. Soaring Thought Thieves is a good draw. Take care of Karn. Yeah. Now is a good time to keep Counterspell up. Except for Orb of Wand of Warding. Like this, I, I don't care, I think. I think I don't care. If that's the best they're going to do at the moment, I'll take it. So things are picking up on our end here and not so much for our opponent. So we're about to do some decent damage. <laughs> I'm like, what do, what do I do? What do I do? You definitely want to keep Counterspell up though, so I don't think I'm going to go all in here. Like, even if your opponent, our opponent ends up having, like, a counter for our counter. Okay, Gifts Ungiven is going to not resolve. I'm almost certainly countering this. No selection our opponent is going to give us is going to be a good selection, so... I'd rather stop this here, and we might just win the game. Because next turn, it's lethal. If they don't do anything to Stink Drinker, it's lethal. Okay, 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 okay. I f feel like they got rid of the wrong permanence. Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a miscalculation because we win. I'm just going to tag with everything. One of them is going to get through. And it didn't block anything. That was also a mistake. And now we deal, yeah, 18 damage. And we win the game. Um, there you go. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've beat Tron with that Eldrazi on the battlefield. I think this is the first time. So that felt good. And of all the decks to do it, Esper Rogues, little cheap annoying sometimes unblockable rogues is what took down that big eldrazi he took out two of my lands again this is this is what i like about esper rogues is that your opponents are really going to undervalue a lot of your creatures because they just look puny and more of a nuisance than anything else and they're just going to target your lands because it's what they're used to doing um, especially sting trigger bandit which i which i guarantee you most of the, my opponents have never seen before they are just going to miscalculate the power of that card. Uh, and our opponent didn't even um, block at the end At the end there. I think they should have. They should have at least blocked Stink Drinker. Um, although if they had blocked Stink Drinker, we would have still killed them. Yeah, there was basically no way to win that. Either way, they should have at least blocked something. And they didn't, and we got there. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about this matchup. Stay tuned for your other matches if they haven't already gone up and a deck tech this morning. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. Those few clicks go a really long way in helping others find my content and helps my channel grow. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook, share my content on social media. That also helps others find their way to my videos and spreads the word even further. And of course, if you like making money, 
check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description of this video. In particular, check out the Patreon Rewards Program. Basically, it works like this. You give me your Patreon dollars every month. I buy and open up sealed product on this channel using those dollars. And I send you back that money at the end of every year in the form of rares and mythics. You get one non-bulk rare or mythic for every consecutive month you've been a patron. And every card is worth anywhere between $3 and $15. But I mean, even if you lowball it at an average of 5 bucks per card, you're at the very least getting your money back. But odds are you're getting even more. There are a lot more details on my patron page, so check it out. Thanks and have a good one.